Okay. Hi, everyone. We're talking about this and a bunch of other comics. And it's vote time again. Got this off eBay. Tell me if I should... Tell me if I should review it. It's not a Marvel or a DC, and it's a halfway finished story. But... Can you tell... Tell me if I should review this one. Just leave in comments. I'll remind you of the name at the end of the video. Okay. We're starting off, though, with this book. Flash. 33. 43. Sorry. 46. Wait, no, 60, 63? Yeah, that's right. Anyway. It's 63. And, um, it was kind of good. Booster Gold ends up showing up at the very end of it. So if you buy it for him, don't. Just don't. There's... You can kind of guess what happens just by picking up the most recent Flash. I, I knew that San Diego and that they wouldn't be okay. But, hopefully they do come back to it. They don't just leave her like Psycho Pirate. That's the whole problem with Psycho Pirate. <laughs> they just left him alone. Yeah. Um, hopefully they don't do that. I'm not gonna spoil too much in case you haven't read it yet. But... They do go back to Gorilla City, which, my thoughts on Gorilla City in modern day, I didn't even discuss with Cryptic, but I did discuss, however, my thoughts on the creation of Gorilla City. And if you're all curious about that, check out my most recent Injustice episode. It's kind of controversial, so, yeah. Um, it led into... This, the price. Number one, and number two. Right there. Number one, number two. Overall, this is a good book. So, right now, I'd say buy it and trade if the ending holds out to be just as good as the overall story. I haven't I haven't got the ending yet, so don't ruin it for me in the comments. I, I thought we did, but hey. Um, I wasn't too big on the Gotham, Gotham Girl whole fiasco originally. But if it leads up to Superboy Prime... Yeah, um, I'm, I'm on board. I say that because they still haven't explained the Thomas Wayne Batman. Which, he survived. So. Yeah.
again, if this is any indication, buy it in trade. So. That's my overall opinion on those two. Now to uh, now on to Heroes in Crisis. Heroes in Crisis, I tend to agree that there are two multiple timelines. Multiple multiple timelines. There are two timelines total. What would be considered multiple timelines going on because I, I can't see Booster killing anyone. That would totally ruin it for me. I mean, but at the same time, how do you explain Wally being five years older? Is it five days, five years, the time dilation? Anyway. Overall, I enjoyed this issue of Heroes in Crisis, but, again, I'm behind, so, yeah. Again, don't ruin it in the comments. If they have confirmed or not. That there are multiple timelines. Yeah. And last but not least, we have in the speed round of comics the terrifics. Number 13. Wait, we still have to talk about exiles. We will. We will. Oh, trust me. We will. I have to. I have many thoughts on that. Yeah. Not. This ain't just. <laughs> This ain't just in the lightning round. Um, I, I liked that Plastic Man's son does show up in this, and that at the end, he is trying to save his, he is trying to save Mr. Terrific with his father. That's really cool. Um, I like that he used the exact outfit from Kingdom Come. You know, to me, that's always cool. Um, I like that, that, um, they gave Phantom Girl more to do. And that they didn't kill off Mr. Terrific right away. I'm glad I didn't say how he'd die. So I'm not saying I'm fully wrong. I'm glad that they're making him squirm for a little while. Yeah. This one, however you guys can discuss. Yeah. Discuss the terrific tell me if if they've had um Booster's dad show up yet. I don't think so, but you never know. Anything can happen in comics. That's why it's so fun. Multiple timelines, Psycho Pirate running a clinic, all that stuff. Yeah.
And with that, we're going to end this time for real on Exiles. Well, kids, sadly, I was right. That this book did die without a spider person. But I don't think it's gone for good. Because things always come back around. Annie may, may, be, may get her shot at being in exile in another 10 years. But, and they may explain that weird dream at the end. With Khan fading away, giving Blink the talus. If you read it, you... T and yes, I know I'm the last guy to talk about this I issue. But the last guy to... Last guy to... To, um... Get there is the first to clean up. And that's... I don't know. Anyway. Um, so, definitely needed a spider person, be it 2099, anime, and they, they didn't, um, connect it back. This is why I don't think it's over to the Animalgam timeline. Yeah. They didn't. The Time Eater didn't try to eat that, so. It's clearly not over yet. Yeah. This and the Star Effects definitely discuss. Was I wrong to hope for a spider person? Let me know. Hope for um, some reference to what was happening in DC. How'd you feel about the end, you know, Nate, the dream, and the whole thing? Um, I saw... Um, God. Diversity in comics cover this, which is never good, because he's always bitching about it's always bitching about how there's there isn't enough diversity in comics and it's not real and such like that. But what he doesn't know is that this was a good series for this 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 was a good series from the start. And if he can't appreciate that, well then I I don't know. It went downhill. That's how this series is probably going to be remembered. You know, the, the exiles that's in between the 90s exiles and the, the um, modern run whenever that comes out. Yeah. Good job at the, at the start, though, guys. Um, not enough stuff regarding the other timelines, though. And With that, I'll just say 
Come on, guys, take some of my suggestions. They're good ideas, I swear. Bob out. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the name of that book is Image United. My dad got me another one off eBay, that, that, um, I'd like to discuss as well, Spawn Wildcats, and how, I'd like to discuss how similar they are, these two, those two stories, and what I think would have happened if if it can continue there not if it would if it can continue because you know there's always hope and the books i'm reading this month are go set go set a watchman and And Slugfest by Mark. Slugfest about Marvel and DC. They're really good books. Again, you guys can feel free to discuss that in the comments as well. If you, any of you all have read it. Kind of. It's a brief overview of how we got here. Cryptic, if you're watching the the last Stephen Hawking book, I misspoke. The last Stephen Hawking book did give his some kind of opinion on time travel. I just haven't read it yet. So, in everything I'd read, it was completely true. So, yeah. That's it, kids. Bye-bye.